Dave, Mike Whiskey 6, Papa Queen Queen, G4J, thank you, cheers Tom. Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie Fox, QRP. Uh, QRP station, you're a bit strong, but it might fear of something, uh, uh, go ahead. Yes, Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie Foxtrot, uh, QRP station, the name is Mark, Mike Alpha Romeo Kilo, in Sidcup in, Te uh, in Kent there, Ted, back to you. Uh, not, not quite strong enough, you're about five and four, just on the noise level. Uh, QSL is Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie, Foxtrot. Mike Zero, Juliet, Charlie, Foxtrot. And the name is Mark. Mike Alpha, Romeo, Kilo. And I'm in Sidcup in Kent. Back to you. Yeah, did you say your name was Nick? Nick, over. No, it's Mark. Mark. Mike Alpha, Romeo, Kilo. Back to you, Ted. Yeah, Roger, Ted, uh, G4JKQM0, JCF, QRP. Um, I'm in Sidcup in Kent, uh, Sidcup in Kent, so uh, about uh, 12 miles south of London, and uh, just running about 4 watts from a Chinese micro SDX antenna. Uh, you're 5 and 9, 5 and 9 plus to me. Uh, the QSB drops you to about 5 and 7 there, Ted. G4JKQM0. Zero, JCF, QRP. Okay, Mark, fine. Uh, one pair, was it? Was it two watts or 20 watts, over? No, about four watts. Four watts. Just four watts. And the radio is one of those Chinese eight-band micro transceivers. It's literally a palm-sized transceiver um, and a copy of a German design. So it's SDR receiver and Class E output on the, uh, on the amplifier. Yeah, G4, Jack, King, Queen, uh, Mike, Zero, Juliet, Charlie, Fox returning. Yeah, right, it's quite amazing, actually, um, uh, uh, you know, the, the differences in equipment, but um, how, how it all works, you know, the propagation. I'm, uh, I've am i just been uh, trying this rig for uh, just a week or so. Um, it was £100. You buy them on eBay. They're, uh, as I say, they're a, a Chinese knockoff, really, of a German designer. Uh, it's an experimental development. Um, radio it's not really a commercial radio but i'll tell you what it's the size of two cigarette packets maybe smaller and uh, packs quite a punch uh, the antenna this end is a 90 foot long wire uh, nothing complicated about that uh, i'm just watching the power meter now and sometimes i'm just nudging five watts but i'd say on an average about three watts is probably uh, uh, where it's really hanging around so i'm just uh just having a play around um ted you know uh, that normally i'd run uh, an old ts520 or my ts590 something like that but i'll tell you what these little tiny um cheap rigs um they're really quite amazing and uh, the purity the spectral purity is quite good on the lower bands um, not so good on the higher bands. Likewise, the power's not so good on the higher bands. But, you know, you can't knock it for the price. And, of course, being experimental or development, it's just um, it's just ripe for experimentation there, Ted. Back to you. Yeah, well, just repeat the model for me uh, a bit slower, because uh, you're peaking 5 and 8 and a bit more on peaks, and then you go down and I struggle. So uh, give me the model a bit slowly, please, uh, uh, would you... Uh, Right, okay, no problem. Five and nine plus ten from you. The model is a Mu 
SDX. So you or uniform Sierra Delta X ray HF transceiver all mode eight band now you find them on ebay and they're all different types different models the one i've got is black about the size of half a vhs tape or two cigarette packets it's got the display on the front a rotary encoder and two tiny buttons called menu and exit that's the best way to describe it and i think the uh, the original designer DL2MAN, uh, a German ham, uh, based it on the QRP Labs uh, QCX CW transceiver and just added um, other modes to it via the software and uh, uh, possibly uh, you know some hardware as well. Does that make any sense to you there, Ted? G4JKQM0JCF. Yeah, Roger, Roger. G4, J, K, Q, M, 0, J, C, F, Q, R, P station returning. Uh, it was an absolute pleasure to talk to you, Ted. And I really appreciate you uh, giving me the time of day. I'm making a video of this. I do have a YouTube channel. Just look for M, 0, J, C, F, um, um, Ham Radio, and you'll find my YouTube channel. It's nothing serious. It's not monetized, etc. But I like to put my videos up there. And uh, uh, these ones of these little tiny rig have been so popular it's unbelievable so i've just been banging them up there uh, these radios do have internal settings that you have to set up to get the best performance both for receive and transmit so yeah if you've got the time you want to have a look it will give you a better idea of what you're searching for as uh, for as well on ebay all the very best mate 73 to you and the family have a great weekend look forward to catching up with you again ted and i'll say bye bye for now g4 jkq m0 jcf uh, qrp station going clear. Cheers again, Ted. And there you go. TX Drive 2, noise gate 0, uh, PA bias minimum is 20, PA bias maximum is uh, 150. I've got the attenuators on zero and the AGC is turned off. Could probably do with being on fast when you have a big QSB and a lot of uh, swing on the signals. But, um, but uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just really fantastic. Um, as you can tell, when he's plus 10, he's really loud. When he's, um, when he's sort of 7 or 8, he's uh, quite listenable. With a fast AGC, that would probably sort a lot of that out. But you know, I'm having too much fun now with the settings that I've got to start mucking things about. Uh, M0JCF saying, uh, thanks for looking at this video. Cheers. Yeah, 